Welcome to the demonstration of asset hierarchy and structures of Daxium, the enterprise asset management solution from Eclipse. In this scenario, the maintenance data administrator will install, remove, and exchange assets. We will start by selecting an asset from the asset list page from the main menu. We will choose asset HT345. I'm going to select the install remove button that is on the structure menu section of the action pane. The first thing we'll do is right click on the asset and expand. So these are all of the components within this asset. The assets that have a name in brackets have an installed asset. In this case, this engine has an asset ID engine general 02. The first thing we're going to do is select this asset and we're going to drag it over to the engineering assets to install. So it identifies that this asset, which is now in use, is going to be changed to serviceable on this date. This asset will now be available for install into other, other end assets. We will now exchange an asset from this position, wheel motor, wheel motor 313. Next we will do an asset exchange. So what I will do is select a wheel motor position within the end asset, wheel motor 313. When I do that, the engineering assets that are ready to install in that position are reflected. I'm going to choose wheel motor 340 and I'm going to drag it over to this position. The dialog box tells me that this wheel motor, the one that was installed, is going to go from serviceable to in use. And we will be installing wheel motor 340 that is serviceable to in use. And we will update. The next thing we will do is do an asset exchange. We will choose the wheel motor position on, on the left hand front suspension. Once we highlight that, a list of engineering assets that are available for install will appear. What we will do is choose wheel motor 340 and install in this position where we already have a wheel motor installed. We are prompted to remove the engineering asset wheel motor 13 313 to status, from status in use, to serviceable. This will make it available for install in another asset. You will notice after the exchange that wheel motor on the left hand, 340, is now installed. Wheel motor 313 that was removed is now in serviceable status and can be installed in another asset. We will now do an installation. We will choose wheel motor 345 and install it into the wheel motor right hand position. The status will go from serviceable to in use on this date. We will now return to the engineering asset list page and we will choose the engine position. I will also choose a device change out button that is on the meters menu section of the action pane. The meter type will be kilometers, it will be today's date, previous reading was 650 and I need to update that with the current reading which is 900. So we will update the meters. Next we will select the meter history for this asset. So this is the history of the kilometers that there was 650 and the current update is 900. So this meter history is always available on the asset list page in the asset details. And that concludes our short presentation of asset hierarchy and structures functionality within Daxium. If you would like to know more about Daxium, the enterprise asset management solution for Microsoft Dynamics AX from Eclipse, 
please contact Eclipse today or visit our website.